Hey everyone. Uh, I've not been very present on YouTube for the last six weeks, just given everything that's been going on with the Black Lives Matter movement and with COVID-19. I felt that it was an inappropriate time to be posting fun content when there's other ways in which I could be using my voice to learn and educate myself, educate other people, petition, donate, and share what's been going on and the injustices in our society. With that being said, as well as my own personal donations, I'm going to be donating £10 per every 100 views of this video to the Stand Against Racism and Inequality Charity, or SARI. Um, it's a charity in England that focuses on helping those that are victims of hate and hate crimes. In addition to that, I'll be leaving some applicable links down below in how you can support, petition, help, donate, educate, and spread the word about Black Lives Matter because it's such an important issue with this systemic, ingrained racism in our society today. So, given the fact that we're heading into summer, as you can see, I'm outside in my garden, I figured it would be good to do a kind of summer type recipe, something easy, something that you could do sat down without a cooker. It's just preparation and I pre-prepared some of the ingredients just for ease of time. So I'm going to be doing my recipe on guacamole. Everyone has their own different ideas of that and what they want to do and what they want to add in as their recipe. Some people like lime, some people like lemon juice. A lot of people hate coriander or cilantro. So with that being said, let's just get to it. So for my version of guacamole, obviously I'm going to need avocados. I've got two here because I'm making it for a couple people. Um, some chopped, roughly chopped or finely chopped, but roughly for me. Uh, coriander or cilantro. I would normally use red onions, but I'm fresh out of that. So I'm going to be using something that's fairly mild as well, which is a scallion or a green onion or a spring onion, depending on where you're from. And I have some fresh chopped tomatoes here. Some chili, a tiny bit of cumin, and then salt and pepper. And I like lemon juice. Some people like lime. I think lemon gives it a really interesting kind of fresh, it lightens it because it's obviously avocado is quite a kind of creamy, heavy thing. So I think it freshens it up a little bit better. And then just some minced garlic that I have here. So let's get to work. So I like a kind of a chunky guacamole. So I prefer to have one avocado, which I mash completely and one avocado that I add in that's cubed, so you get kind of a combination of smashed avocado and cubed avocado. It's just the way that I've preferred to do it. So into your receptacle bowl, add in the avocado that you're using to smash. And just press that down with a fork just to make it all kind of blended and mushy. Mushy, not a great word to describe food, <laughs> but it is what it is. How is everyone's lockdown going? How is your quarantine going? I feel like I've been mostly productive, but there are days when it rains and you barely want to get out or do anything. And this is the cubed avocado, so I've just diced it across as you saw with the knife earlier, and then just kind of adding that in, trying not to smash that in, because it will get mixed in. So you have some texture in your guacamole, rather than it just being kind of a avocado paste. I'm going to add in some spring onion next. Now, I'm not the best with knife skills, so... Just kidding. I'm amazing. We 
Would anyone like to see a how to, like, chop like a pro chef video? Let me know and comment down below because it's the easiest technique that you can use to get that really quick, smooth chop that you have. Let me know down below. These are my diced tomatoes. Just kind of finely chopped. And then I'm just going to add in about, I'd say about half a teaspoon of cumin. It's just to give it kind of a bit of an earthy flavour. And cumin is often used in Central American and Southern American cuisine. So it does actually add to that flavour, even though often people assume if they taste cumin, it's just a Indian or Asian flavour. Next in with the coriander or cilantro, again depending on where you're from. If you don't like coriander, I wouldn't really substitute any other herb. It's likely if you don't like coriander, it's because of a gene that makes it taste like soap. So I happen to love it, but I know a lot of people where I have to substitute the recipe and make alterations because it's just awful and who wants to eat soap? Just going in with the diced garlic now. And then a little salt and pepper. This is just some Malden sea salt or kosher salt and some lemon juice. I have, because if I was just using one avocado and making the guacamole for myself, I would use half the juice of a lemon. This is the juice of a whole lemon because I have two avocados. And with the tomatoes, it was about four cherry tomatoes being terrible. I'm so out of practice. One green onion, obviously, and then some pepper. Now we already have the the birds. Oh my god, living in a poem right now. Um, the lemon is obviously lifting the recipe and giving it that zip and punch. But I like a little bit of heat. So about a teaspoon of chili. If you don't like heat, don't add it in. It's simple. And just combine it. Obviously trying not to, if you're doing it this way, trying not to bruise the chunks of avocado. Chunks, not another good word to describe food, but it is what it is. So that's it. That is kind of my guacamole recipe. It's very simple. If you don't have tortilla chips or you can't get a hold of them, if you have tortilla wraps, you can put them in the oven and cut them into triangles, just brush them with a little olive oil, it will take 10 minutes maximum. Other than that, this is actually great on toast, like a kind of guacamole avocado toast. So that's always a good idea to do. You could spread it on a cracker or a rye vita, something like that. But it's a great recipe for summer. And this is the type of dip that people are going to camp out in front of and just be like this, and then it's all gone automatic tennis ball machine type thing. So I'll show you a close-up of what the guacamole looks like. So here is the guacamole close-up. Nice and textured, fresh. A top tip if you are making this ahead of time, when you are saving it in the fridge because you don't want the avocado to brown, get some cling film or saran wrap and press down on the avocado right down so there's no air surrounding the guacamole dip and it will keep fresher better if you know what I'm saying rather than just covering the bowl because there'll be too much air and it'll start to oxidize so just a little tip there okay so there you have it thank you really so much for watching I genuinely very much appreciate it share this because the more it gets shared and the more it gets viewed the more that will be donated to Sari as well as my own personal donation that I am making as well and uh, let me know if you'd like a knife skill video on how to chop and prefer, prepare vegetables, kind of, it makes it quicker, it's also safer, and what knives you should be using. I always use a chef knife because it's just kind of a one size fits all type thing and you can use it with everything rather than a smaller knife or a more narrow knife. Please go check out the links down below and how you can um, share and petition, donate, educate, 
if you do one thing today, check that link out. And I shall see you in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.